In this lesson, we are going to learn about inductance. Okay, or in other words, we are going to see what a inductor is. Okay, inductor is essentially a solenoid. Okay, so basically, over here I have two solenoids which are kept nearer to each other. Okay, let's just say this is my solenoid number one, and this is my solenoid number two. Okay. we are going to assume that at any instant the current which is flowing through your solenoid number 1 is i1 and the current which is flowing through your solenoid number 2 is i2 okay let's just also assume the number of turns in my first solenoid is n1 and number of turns in my second solenoid is n2 okay you know whenever current flows through a solenoid it results in magnetic field right so you have your magnetic field which is probably like this okay due to current flowing in this particular solenoid okay now if my current starts to vary okay if my current starts to change with respect to time then this magnetic field which is present is also going to change and what i'm going to get is a induced emf on the other coil okay so the induced emf on this coil would be equal to what let's just say your phi 2 is the magnetic flux due to a single loop over here okay so in this coil you have n2 number of loops therefore your net flux is simply n2 into phi 2 okay so your net flux due to magnetic field produced by this solenoid is n2 into phi 2 okay and you know your emf is simply d phi by dt okay therefore your emf which is generated on this particular coil let's just say it is e2 is simply going to be d phi by dt which is d by dt of n2 into phi 2 okay this is a constant so your e2 is simply going to be n2 into d phi 2 by dt right also if you remember we said that flux which is generated in this coil is due to current flowing in this coil okay so basically your flux is proportional to current flowing in coil number 1 okay right your flux is basically dependent on magnetic field produced due to this coil right and the magnetic field which is produced is dependent on the current which flows in this coil therefore your flux in this coil is dependent on current on the other coil right so i can say that my flux is proportional to the current okay or if i just let's say multiply by n2 okay both sides what i can say is n2 into phi 2 is equal to n2 into k into i1 okay let's just say n2 into k is another constant which is m2 okay so i can say that n2 into phi 2 is equal to m2 into i1 okay over here this is a constant and this is also a constant which is equal to number of turns in your second coil okay let's just differentiate this particular equation what i'm going to get is n2 is a constant so it's going to be d phi 2 by dt is equal to m2 dot di1 by dt okay now just compare this equation with what you have over here you have e2 is equal to n2 into d phi 2 by dt okay over here you have n2 into d phi 2 by dt equal to this thing okay so basically what you can say is your e2 is equal to m2 into di1 upon dt okay so i'm just going to say